On today's episode of Warehouse Safety Tips, we're going to be continuing our discussion of fire safety, week two. So stay tuned. Welcome to Warehouse Safety Tips. If you're a seasoned vodcast viewer, this vodcast is going to be different from most that you watch. It's based around exactly what the name implies, Warehouse Safety Tips. And since the people in this industry are busy, we know that time is money, so each episode will be as short and to the point as possible. And now, with all that out of the way, let's get to the vodcast. On today's episode of Warehouse Safety Tips, again, we're continuing on with our fire safety tips. This is week two. You're going to notice that there is some carryover from maybe previous episodes, definitely our last episode, because some of the things are going to be kind of the same throughout, but we want to just continually drive home the points, especially if they're repeats. They're probably repeats for a reason, and I'll bring those up as we get to them. But here are going to be five tips that are going to at least get you started. The very first thing is going to be trash containers. If you're dealing with things that have to do with fire safety, you want to make sure that your trash containers are metal trash containers, the things that you're putting in that can be flammable uh, because we don't want plastic to be melting and things like that. So make sure that you are going through and using um, metal trash containers when it comes to things that are going to possibly have a combustible side to them. Make sure that they have good, strong lids and that you are making sure that you're going through and closing them after every use. The second thing is gonna be handling oily rags. When you handle oily rags, make sure that you are putting those again in metal containers, that you're emptying them after every shift. And if you don't have an area that has got a um, metal container or something that is gonna be oily rag uh, useful, um, make sure that you're going out externally and drying those outside uh, and then um, bringing them in and either uh, launder them or doing whatever you have to do but make sure that if they're oily they are not put into a area that is going to be a uh, potential for a fire uh, the third thing is going to be maintaining and uh, cleaning organized areas or having organized areas I should say and making sure that there aren't uh, things that can catch on fire that can uh, you know cause uh, you know, potential fire hazards, like having a bunch of papers that aren't needed or possibly uh, packaging material, things like that. If it's not needed in your area, get rid of it. Uh, make sure that you train your staff on uh, everything that has to do with fire safety, fire procedures, fire drills, knowing where to go, uh, knowing the, uh, 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 you know, going through and doing a roll call when you're out in the safe area that you go to, all the things that are associated with fire safety. And then lastly, conduct inspections and audits. These last two things, the conducting inspections and audits and training the staff on, uh, on fire is gonna be something that much like these tips, they repeat, but you wanna keep this stuff top of mind. So going through and doing these audits, inspections and training are gonna be things that are, again, repeats, but that important because you wanna keep them top of mind because the new people may not know anything about it, the older people that are at your location or the, the more seasoned staff, it may have just kind of gotten into the, the uh, you know, everyday operations to the point that they forget about what they're supposed to do. So hammering those things and keeping them top of mind is going to be of the utmost importance. So thank you very much for being part of another episode of Warehouse Safety Tips. We appreciate you being here every week. We thank you for staying safe and keeping you and your fellow employees as safe as they come in as when they go home. And until we talk to you next time, have a great day, stay safe, and here's a word from one of our sponsors. It's scientifically unexplainable. It's virtually indestructible. And it's taking over the entire planet. But in a really good way. It's Mighty Line Floor Tape, the most durable floor tape in the world seven times thicker than average floor tape, beveled to endure pounding warehouse traffic, and backed with a super strong peel and stick adhesive so you'll never have to worry about painting shop floors again. Mighty Line Floor Tape, the only durable stripe.